the um, level we're dealing with here now on what we see on the screen here, or on the board here, is God's people have no legal rights. Because they come from what is natural. Legal rights um, are defined as those not, so natural rights are those not dependent on the laws or the customs of this humanistic system that is uh, created, uh, that is there for what we call legal rights. Um, legal rights are bestowed on a person by a legal system. So it has nothing to do with God. God does not bestow legal rights. Man's world of imagination bestows legal rights. And so in that system, you have to carry something to prove that. A tree in nature doesn't have to prove it's a tree. A squirrel doesn't have to prove it's a squirrel. A blade of grass, a dandelion, anything that is in a natural setting doesn't have to prove what it is. It is what it is. It is native. It is real. It is spiritual. But in the sense of the legal, they have to convert the thought into the legal position and therefore get you to start to believe down that, down the imagination, so you'll adopt that thought. And therefore, instead of being on a quest for truth, you're on a request for fiction. So you request to be re-known as something that you weren't. You don't need a license to be yourself. You need a license to impersonate the concept or the misconception, the miscarriage of thought of someone who's away from God and therefore dead, not living, because anything away from the natural system of God is dead. It cannot live. And that's why the world we live in right now is so much on a direction of suicide and direction away from what is spiritual that it's willing to kill off its own membership base uh, because it's balancing things in a logistic realm, not in a reasonable or something that has to do with conscience realm. God gave us conscience, not logic. Logic belongs to a world of legalists, humanists, uh, these are not spiritual people, and they have to get you to carry a document to prove that you are that because there's no existence of it otherwise. So if you don't show this, a birth certificate, you don't sure it yet that you have no existence in it. Uh, interestingly, it is in a reverse order of the dead. Uh, it represents the dead, and there it represents corpus or dead as the Canadian government dictates a definition for legal person. It says that the only legal person known to their law is the body corporate of the body corpus. That's a dead body. So when you deal with using something and you speak for it, you speak for the corporate dead, the corpus dead, the dead body, something that's legal has no salvation, opposite to grace, opposite to what is natural, you end up with a situation that you speak for the dead. And that's called corp oration. So corporation is basically, oration means to speak, to orate, and corpse is the dead. So corporation is dead speaking. Very simple, not hard to understand. But we need to comprehend the fact is that when you're living in the dead world, those without salvation of God, those who are not his property, you have no salvation. And right now, if you're not feeling this, what's going on, you realize it's not God abandoning you. It's you've abandoned God and you're now part of something that you wish to support. Because, oh, I have so many wonderful things in the world of the dead. I have real estate. I should have a right to vote and, and, and put a say in that society. God doesn't need you to vote on what is right. It is what it is. It already exists. He doesn't need you to put your stamp of approval on it. So we've begun to, or have, have started to be good, uh, brought down a level of thought that's not coherent 
to spiritual uh, reason, we've been brought down a direction of complete insane thought, which is <laughs> that somehow the Creator has to basically uh, support us uh, in our thought pattern as the creation. And so the creation has got out of hand, and now it's in recreation of thought, imagination, and the creator basically has left us uh, to, unfortunately, the realm of that to provide us a learning, I guess, a learning experience of what can happen when you put your trust in those that promote something away from his harmony of thought. So uh, we're in a battle between, uh, you know, true understanding and false understanding, but you're either consenting uh, to refrain from doing something that is bad, or you're consenting to participate in something that is bad. And you have that placed in you by God. So it appears there's about maybe less than 10 or 20% of the population right now showing up, totally disturbed by what they see going on right now. Is that going to be the total uh, wake up? Uh, that's there that will follow through right to the end? I don't know. I can't say. I just say that the the logistics, if you're going to take it down the logistic end, the majority of these people are still involved in the world of make-believe, and they may make a very bad choice, a poor choice. They may actually put their, what they believe to be their make-believe monetary existence above their actual existence naturally, because they believe there's no other way to go. But if someone's offering you poison right now and saying this is the only way to live, would you take that poison? Would you be even questioning whether or not it'd be best not to take the poison? If you're in a burning house and the house is burning down, the premise of the thought of where you thought your life was under a surname, a house, a premise of thought, if that house is burning down, would you remain in that house trying to gather your last bit of your possessions? Or would you just be trying to get outside of that house and leave that house, divorce from that house that's burning? And right now, the majority are sending me most of the emails about how do I remain in that house, benefit from that house, stay in the burning house, and still have salvation? And I can't answer that um, with anything other than, are you out of your head? It's not going to happen. You can't be in both places. So you're either going to choose spiritual, and you're going to walk down a spiritual path and come out, or you're going to stay in. And to stay in is going to have a price tag with it. So it will definitely lead those down to disaster who have actually placed a value on their lives instead of placing what is invaluable because life is invaluable it's priceless